Hello student, welcome to the YouTube channel of DCP HUPM. Myself, Assistant Professor SK Ganvir. I am currently working as an Assistant Professor in Sri HPP Mandal's Degree College of Physical Education. And I am here to deliver a video lecture on Analog Communication System. Analog Communication System is nothing but a system by which we can transmit our information from one place to another by the means of electronic, by the means of electronic. So let us start with the topic. As you can see, this is nothing but the block diagram of analog communication system. It consists of several blocks. It is having information source, input transducer, transmitter, channel, noise, receiver, output transducer, etc. So let us explain each block in detail, starting with information source. Information source. The information source is nothing but from which we are getting our message and this message can be available in any form like it could be a speech, a video, a mp3, a picture or a digital data stream for any computer. So the information source is what from which we are getting our message and the message can be available in any form. Then that message is given to the input transducer. Before explaining input transducer in this particular topic, I would like to give a brief idea about the transducer. Transducer is nothing but an electronic device which converts one form of quantity into another form. One form of quantity into another form. And while particularly talking about the analog communication system, here the input signal will convert the information, will convert the information into electrical form. Whatever the information source, whatever the message we are getting from information source is applied to the input transducer and that input transducer will convert that message into electrical form, electrical pulses. Then this electrical form of information is given to given to transmitter. The basic operation or the basic function of transmitter is to transmit the message signal over the communication channel. Okay, but we can say that it basically performed two operation which is nothing but whatever the information which it receive at its input side, it converts that information into suitable form. Suitable form which is as per the convenience of the communication channel. To illustrate my idea, I would like to give one example. Suppose we are having a fiber optic communication, fiber optic channel, then uh, we know that uh, during uh, in fiber optic communication channel, the information will travel in the form of light, in the form of light. And suppose we are going to send electrical pulses within that optical fiber, it will not going to work we, because we know that only light waves can travel through, travel through what we can say that optical fiber cable. So the electric pulses of information we have to convert that into light pulses and that light pulses will going to travel in the optical fiber cable. So uh, whatever the form of information or the electric pulses we are give we have given to the transmitter, the transmitter will convert that electrical pulses into suitable form which is more convenient as per the convenience of the communication channel. Also it performs the second operation which is nothing but it amplifies the signal. It amplifies the signal. Amplification is nothing but the process in which the signal get strengthened out. The signal gets strengthened. We convert the weak signal into the strong one. After processing, the final product is being transmitted by the transmitting antenna over the communication channel. So let us see how many communication we are uh, communication channel we are having. So Communication channel is nothing but the medium by which we can transmit our message signal from one place to another and while categorize it, we can categorize them uh, into two that is wired communication channel and wireless communication channel. In wired communication channel, there is a physical contact between the transmitter and the receiver. While talking about wireless communication channel, there is no physical contact between the transmitter and the receiver. which wired communication channel we are having we are having coaxial cable twisted pair cable fiber optic cable we, by which we can connect the transmitter to the receiver we know that in fiber optic cable uh, fiber fiber optic communication the information travel in the form of light now second is wireless communication wireless communication is nothing but the radio communication in which there is no physical contact between the transmitter and the receiver our message will travel towards the uh, towards the receiver through the air or free space using the free space okay so 
when our message transmit or will travel from transmitter to the receiver through the communication channel there is a possibility of introduction of noise introduction of noise so noise is nothing but the random undesirable electrical energy that enters via communication channel which are going to degrade the quality of our message quality of our message okay so uh, this noise also can be categorized into two that is natural noise and man made noise natural noise is nothing but we can say the adverse uh, environmental conditions such as uh, lightning during rain uh, lightning during rain fog uh, like this okay uh, and the man made noise is nothing but the uh, noise created uh, the noise created by the ignition of the car uh, or the fluorescent lamp likewise okay so on the whole the noise is nothing but the unwanted random electrical energy that enters via communication channel which are having the purpose to degrade the quality to degrade the quality of the message so this is all about the transmitter section this is all about the transmitter section okay uh, it consists of the input transducer then transmitter okay this is all about the transmitter section then the next one the next one is nothing but the block of receiver the block of receiver the receiver will perform exactly opposite operation to that of transmitter it receives the information signal and convert it into another form convert it into original form then after we are having the output transducer as i explained earlier the output transducer does the same work it will converts the electrical signal to its original information to its original form so uh, this is all about the analog communication system let me summarize this analog communication system once again with the help of block diagram with the help of block diagram okay so the block diagram uh, uh, the analog communication system is all about transmitting our message signal from one place to another by means of electronic devices it is having several block and first one is the information source from which we, we are getting our message that message can be available in any form that any form available message is then given to the input transducer the input transducer will convert it into electrical form here we are getting the electrical pulses then that electrical pulses are given to the transmitter the transmitter will convert that electrical signal into suitable form it will further convert the electrical signal into another form uh, which is as per the convenience of the communication channel used and it also uh, amplifies the signal it also amplifies the signal then that amplified whole product is being then transmitted over the communication channel communication channel can be of two type wired and wireless okay and while uh, while getting traveled from transmitting side to the receiving side noise gate added noise gate added to with the original message signal and this because of this noise the quality of our original message will degrade this is all the unwanted electrical energy which enters via communication channel which are having the purpose to degrade our original message then uh, then at the receiving section we are having the receiver uh, the receiver the uh, receiving antenna will receives the signal and perform the exactly opposite operation to that of transmitter then uh, the last block of this uh, analog communication system is output transducer the output transducer converts the electrical signal back to the original message form original message form okay hope i like uh, my video hope you all like my video thank you thank you so much for watching